What's going on, guys? Local John 1812 back with yet another Retro Bow upload. Guys, you know I am part of that Retro Bow College Dynasty League. We finished up season 89. I was in the uh, Retro Sports Bow, I believe it was called, and I did not win. So I finished probably around 40th. That was in the Retro Bow College Dynasty League. Actually, before going any further, so we can go into season 90 of Retro Bow College Dynasty League against 100 different teams, why don't you do me a favor? Like, subscribe, comment, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's go into it. So if you guys know how this works, what will happen now is once we get into this, we're going to have people that were students and players that were seniors or juniors, and they may leave the program or go get drafted, and I'm going to get more uh, get more funding for that. So when they go to the NFL or something, you get more funding in your scholarship funds. So here we are, Kentucky, year two. Save slot number one. All right, in college football season is over, and your senior and junior star players are preparing to declare for the pro draft. Here we go. Pro draft. All right. Draft eligible players. Wow. Okay. Next. Tolliver, QB, entered the draft as a first round pick. Wow. Round one pick and was signed by Arizona. Awesome. We received 50 thousand in the scholarship for the scholarship fund okay next up the db pickens pickens db jr is not declaring for the draft and will return to kentucky for his senior year yes good job okay did we did get fifty thousand talava got into the nfl the scholarship fund is now filled you have received forty nine thousand out of the fifty thousand donated by players leaving your team and the rest has been diverted to another college programs. You can use coaching credits to increase your upper limit of the football scholarship fund by visiting the athletic office. So there's where our problem lies in. Okay, here we go. You see we're in the large X East conference and that has a lot of good teams. So we're fine where we're at there when we came in and made the adjustments. Let's go in and look at some freshmen. Our roster looking at our, we need a quarterback. Right, and then Pickens is, is kind of sad, but a defensive lineman. Boy, oh boy. I feel like revoking his scholarship. All right, we got a running back here, sophomore. We got a wide receiver and junior, another wide receiver. Uh, and, and Tate and Hooker, those guys will stay there. All right, so defensive line and DB Jenkins. Jenkins is going to end up going probably here soon. Okay. Let's try to find some a quarterback. Looking for a quarterback. We've got one there. I wonder if we can get anybody in a transfer portal. Come on. There we go. Let's got him. There we go. We got ourselves a quarterback. Freshman quarterback. Two and a half star coming in. All right. Now we're down to 30,000 on this. The scholarship list. We've got two D lines and two DBs. We're going to need to get another DB. Scout him out. All right, we'll recruit him. He's going to be a good DB. There we go. Looks kind of mad. Got that scarly look to him. All right, there we go. Freshman players have arrived at college. So here's our roster now. We ended up with another uh, DB. So we have three DBs and one d we we'll have to have a meeting with him. We're going to have to boost morale. He's happier, I guess. All right. We've got 22K left. 88. We're going to we're gonna use that 100 this year to boost that crap up. All right. So here's the, here's the dilemma. We've, we've signed some players. We, one of our, our previous quarterback got drafted. We signed some players. Here's the kicker now. we got to play one, two, three, four games. So we're going to play these first four games. It's not about how many weeks. you got to play four games and send it in. So we're going to play the first four. We got to get into it. Here we go. So you can see that we're actually a little bit better than we were last year, and the defense has improved again. Let's put on a little bit different clothing here. Use a different ball. Nice run there. Good job. There we go. And Tate the Great is back. This is his, uh, what, 
junior year. Look at that. 100 career touchdowns. It just doesn't stop. Okay, picked up the first as if it would matter, but there it is, the last one, Tate the Great. He should be drafted next year. This guy is going to get drafted, I believe, for sure, and we're going to score one more time, even with a showboat, 53-yarder, and we're going to go two more points here. So, yes, 58-6, to six, which gives us a 52-point differential. be nice to keep doing that all the way through. 22-point quarter. It's the first time I really had one of those, I think, in this game. All right, so we got 90. Keep an eye on that. We want to raise that up. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Praise the player for Tate. See if we get anything else there. Okay. Looks like running back, we can move him up to his speed's got to go up. There we go. Okay. All right, guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to play these other games. I will come back to you and show you the point differential after week four. So there you have it, guys. We've got one through four done. How much is our point differential for our league? We go into our conference area there. We click on it. We go to our scheduling. We go to review. We can see that there's 148 total. And then we got to take that screenshot. You always got to make sure you take a screenshot of what we can see here, the 4 and 0. Oh. And we can also see down there the restarts are zero. And you can see the CCs are zero. That's important. And then you go to your next page. And you're going to click the same button. You're going to take that screenshot. That is what we're going to be sending over to the Retro Bow College Dynasty League to see where we'll be ranked. So for you to find that out, you're going to hit the like button, subscribe button, the comment, give us a comment, hit the little bell so you'll be notified next time we upload so you can see where we are ranked after the first four games in a Retro Bow College Dynasty League and the Retro Bow game itself. College edition is awesome. Make sure you're checking out. Go get it. All right, guys. Until next time, guys. Happy Retro Bowling. Peace.